Hi guys, how are you today? We are here for another round of My Creative Year uh, for November 2018. I'm here to bring you my review or tip for the month. Uh, this month our topic is words. And I love to use words in my art. If you've been following me here on YouTube or on social media for very long, then you know this already. Almost everything I do has words, a quote, a phrase, or something in it all the time. I'm going to give you a few tips of how I go about adding words to my work and or where I collect my words from. So my first tip for you is use your devices. Pinterest, Google, Yahoo Search. When you're looking for words or a quote for your page, say you have a specific subject in mind. Maybe it's self-image quotes. T Google that, self-image quotes, and see what comes up that you find interesting that you want to use in your work. Just remember to always give credit where credit is due, and if it's, say, an Ernest Hemingway quote, Put the quote down there by Ernest Hemingway if you know who the quote is from, okay? So that's the first one that I always do. Um, I don't have a problem anymore with using my handwriting in my work, but I did for a long time, as do a lot of people out there I know. These lettering stencils that are cheap and easy from the office supply store, um, these solve those problems. You get all four of these in these different sizes in one pack. I got them at my local office supply store. They were, I think, like six dollars for the four of them. They weren't very expensive. Um, I, I do think there's other ones out there, script lettering stencils and things like that. These were cheap and easy. Um, I like the different sizes. They work for me, but lettering stencils. Get a set of lettering stencils that you like and use them to add your words or quotes to your page. Um, I also ha own a vintage typewriter. I'll try to put a picture in here somewhere, and um, I will just type something on my typewriter and then paste it into my page. I've done actually done that recently on this one. So this was typed on my typewriter. You can also, of course, type it on your computer and print it on your computer and then paste it into your page. That eliminates the whole handwriting thing if you're worried about your handwriting. I also collect quotes from literally everywhere. Now, I do have some books I pull quotes from. These are were all found at random times at different places like Marshall's or Ross Dress for Less or TJ Maxx. And they're all journals of some sort but that I'm never going to use for journaling. But what I bought them for was because they were journals with quotes in them. Um, this one's really cute. Every journaling page has a little fortune cookie quote at the top. Um, and I, you can see where I've ripped, pa I just ripped the pages out, I use the quote in my work, and then have at it. Um, I also save words and quotes from everywhere. <laughs> they, they live in here, so this is a mini set of drawers, and this particular one has this sort of top flip-up section that I also use. Um, in the bottom, I have, um, these are whole quotes and phrases. Um, some from magazines and junk mail, some from calendars, old calendars. Um, this is more, oops, calendar pages, or it used to be, it actually needs to be relabeled because these now are tags that I've made and stamped with um, different words that I have in my stash of rubber stamps and I've made these tags that I can use on a page. I also have the Tim Holtz uh, flash, little flashcards with words on them. I love these things, by the way. I have some other store-bought tags with words on them, and then some bigger tags that I've made with words on them. It actually says calendar on the drawer, calendar pages on the drawer, so that's wrong. I gotta relabel that. Um, this is single words that I've come across. Um, people have sent me, or Maybe I was cutting a quote phrase apart to use in a page and one of the words in that phrase didn't fit. I don't necessarily throw it away, it goes in here. So these are single words. I also occasionally run across these 
word magnets at like uh, garage sales and so I will pick them up. They're usually like 10 cents for the whole set and there's a couple sets of these in here. The top drawer is a really fun one. So <clears throat> in the top drawer I do have a, uh, a couple of sets of the uh, Tim Holtz letter little clear plastic flash cards in white, some in the white and some in the black. But most of this drawer are wrappers <laughs> of some sort. So these, all these little things are from some, I drink this brand of tea more often than not. The ni interesting thing about this or nice thing about this is the back of every little tea tag. Let's see, can you even see that? Yeah. Has a quote on it. So every single one is different. Um, we also occasionally go out for Chinese food, and so when we do, I get a fortune cookie. I save the fortunes. Like, nothing goes to waste, okay? Um, I also have some, like, candy wrapper labels in here um, that have quotes on them. And um, there's a big store-bought tag somebody sent me, which actually shouldn't be in that drawer. It should be down there. Right now there's a lot of tea wrappers in here because that's what I've been saving. Oh, there's another word. Oh, it's an arrow. Um, so tea wrappers, fortune cookie wrappers, and candy wrappers. And this is my bank of words. And uh, this lives on my desk and I wouldn't know what to do without it. Um, I use words all the time. I want you to think about using words in your art, collecting words for use in your art. How can you do that? You don't have to go out and spend any money. You don't have to buy any books or any fancy supplies. You literally can just collect wrappers and go through your magazines and junk mail. It doesn't require anything more than that, really. Um, I use these more often than anything. If you were going to buy one thing and you were going to ask me what one thing um, regarding words and using words in your art would I recommend buying if you were going to buy anything I'd think about buying some of these lettering stencils I really do love them I love the way they look on the page and I'll frequently put one like keyword in the larger font on the page and then do some handwriting underneath it um, and that's one of my favorite ways to do that so I hope that gives you some ideas of what you can do. If you want to join my creative year and you haven't yet, uh, the link is in my link tree. The link tree link is in the description below. If you click on it, you're going to find every place I am on the internet, including my creative year, um, my other Facebook groups, my website, my Etsy shop, all of it. So check it out, and we would love to have you be part of our little community on my creative year. The most important thing besides using words in your work Use your words, <laughs> as your teacher said in elementary school. Um, go out and have a great day, everybody. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And I'll see you later. Bye, guys.